for my big birthday bash tonight, and we'll be making some rainbow candles for our guests. You're invited! Now hit that like and subscribe button and let's go make something! Taking a trip to Mandy's house, making stuff is what we're all about. She will show you how to make stuff too. Make all of your dreams come true. It's Mandy. How dandy! It's Mandy's house. Oh, hello! Thanks for coming a little bit early. I want to show you how to make these rainbow candles. I will be giving them as a party favor to my guests. And since you are one of my guests, stay tuned to the end and find out how you can win one of these candles. Let's get started. Here are the supplies we'll need. I'll link in the description below where you can find everything. We'll need 16 glass yogurt jars, wicks, and wick stickers. For this particular project, I'm using size 14 CD wicks from Flaming Candle. Our fragrance today will be Volcano from Flaming Candle. It's a fruity fragrance dupe of Anthropology's Volcano Candle scent from their Capri Blue Candle line. Has a really fruity smell like tropical punch and oranges and pineapples. I also made some wick holders from these pieces of wood I found around my house and I have also chopsticks here. This is for the emotional support that the wicks may need while we make our candles. Some candle wax dye. These come in block form. I have six different colors here. Roy G. Boo. Oh yeah, and we're going to need a lot of wax. For this project, I suspect we'll use about 8 pounds of wax. Probably a little less. I'm using Golden Brand Soy Wax 444. I applied the wick stickers and the wicks to the bottom of each jar and secured them with a chopstick so they're on tight. Just make sure you don't have any fur that gets caught in there. Next, I marked out the fill lines. We'll be filling up all the colors to each line. I have a double boiler system here to melt the wax, just a pot filled with water, and this large container that's metal. For each color, I used about one pound of wax. That's about one ounce of wax per color per jar. Ah, wax jacuzzi. Okay, so now we're gonna wait for the wax to melt. I'm using this little tiny stove. I haven't used it before, so hopefully it won't start a fire or anything. We'll see. I'm just going to turn it up real low, and we're waiting to get to about 160-ish, 165, 155 degrees. Soy wax is really sensitive to heat, so we'll want to melt it really slowly and we don't want to go over the amount that we have to melt it to. That would be 165 degrees. If you don't have one of these big containers, I used to use a little coffee frother. Just make sure you don't burn yourself on the metal handle. A plastic handle is best in cases like this. While we're waiting for our wax to melt, let's measure out our fragrance oils. I'm using about 45 grams per color. That's about 9.9% .9 fragrance load. Soy wax usually takes between 10% and 11% fragrance. Okay, wax is starting to melt now. You can see it's starting to soften up. I'm going to go ahead and throw in our color, and our first color is going to be purple. I'm just going to put in a tiny piece of purple, there you go, and maybe a little bit more. And we're just going to stir it up and see what color it makes. Okay, y'all. 
We're about at 162 degrees here. Well, let me see. 159. 162. I think we're ready to take it off the heat. I'm just going to place this wax onto a dirty towel. Then we're going to pour the fragrance in. The next step is the most important. We're going to have to stir for two whole minutes to incorporate the fragrance into our wax. See, our wax is a nice purple right now. Now I'm just going to stir for two minutes. Stirring for this long really helps the oils bind with the wax so it doesn't separate when it cools. Now that we're done stirring, we have to wait for the wax to reach 101 degrees again so we can get to pouring. You don't have to wait all the way to 101 degrees, like 110 is good too. This is like a cool wax pouring method. For chops the crystallization of the soy wax so it doesn't look weird in your jar. Now it's time to wait again. I'm just gonna go maybe read a book or watch a movie or something. I'll be back when everything is 100 and something degrees. I'll show you how to pour it into the candles. I just got this new book from Baby Fox Forever. It's the second edition of You're Doing Such a Good Job. It's full of comics and weird stories like dating monsters evil pancakes, a spaghetti princess, and a dinosaur comedian. <laughs> it's so funny. You can get your copy at babyfoxforever.com. Order now while supplies last. <laughs> okay, we're at 105 degrees. We're going to start getting ready to pour. You can't really see, but we're looking for the beginning stages of crystallization on top of the uh, surface of the wax. Okay, let's start pouring. So now all of our candles are poured. Well, at least the purple part is poured. I didn't make enough purple, so now we're making 15 candles. Now we just repeat these steps five more times for each level of the candle. You want to make sure the wax is completely hard before you pour on the next layer or else they'll mix together. I know, I know, it's going to seem like a long time, but with the power of YouTube, we'll make this super quick and easy. looking rainbows. I trim the wicks to about a quarter inch. If the cup of the candle has any roughness, you can use a heat gun to smooth it out. Top this baby off with a bow and we'll be good to go. <gasps> oh my gosh, my friends are here. Come on, I want you to meet my friends. Thank <laughs> you. 
Potato? Potato? Potato?